I am not going to make any comment on his wedding this weekend. It got a lot of press. The truth is I wish him well in his nuptials and I hope he and his husband are happy together. Um, however, <laughs> in his new fledgling show, he had on actor D.L. Hughley and they had a pretty extraordinary exchange right along the lines of what the three of us have been discussing. Listen here to the topic of whether you really can have relationships with people across the aisle. I really do believe that having relationships with people and talking it out can change things. Once Not in America. America. Right. Not anymore. Right. I had a different relationship with Spike, but, but I, I think that talking things out and having conversations can help. But, you know, maybe I just, maybe I just learned my lesson for good. For the last and final time, God, God was saying, no, it doesn't work. I hope it doesn't. But why do you say not anymore in America? Because I think that look at how strident people are. Okay. So you can't. You can't have relationships with people across the aisle. Um, not anymore, at least. By the way, this guy, D.L. Hughley, came on my show uh, in Fox on Fox News in 2016, and he was very much the same. This is a new, not a new reveal. It's not anymore for him. Listen to him then. So the correct. Department of Justice found that the police office, that the police there had endemic racism. They found that. Right. But they also exonerated Officer Jerry Wilson. That's not a, and they found let, let hands up, don't shoot was a let lie. Let me ask you something. And that no, Michael that is, Brown uh, wow. was the aggressor. Wow. Here's what I'll don't, say. Don't wow me. That, for you all to see one thing, the only place racism doesn't exist is Fox News and the police department. You hold, could you hold the insults for a second so we can have a productive conversation? You were going to make the points that, that whites see certain incidents differently than blacks do. And we saw sure. that in the O.J. Simpson case sure. when the verdict came down. Sure. I'll give you that. Most reasonable people will give you that. But you know what shuts down all reasonable dialogue is throwing out the term racism before it's been proven. Well, Very dangerous when you get to the point where you paint with an entire group with the same brush based on the it, bad actions of, of a that is That is You're amazing to place. hear on this network. That really is. TL. That really is. Amazing to hear on this network. The only place racism Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Take care. <laughs> same, right? Same guy. And so Lemon even bringing it up with him was false. And let's be honest, Lemon pretending that he just wants to have conversations with people and like, irrespective of their policy, politics, you know, come come together, is also a lie. He's the guy, as you guys all remember, who engaged in the most dripping with disdain and disgust for Trump voter clips of all time. I'll give you just a flavor because it's a long one. Just watch. You remember. Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane <laughs> next to it. He knows that this is, you know, an, an administration defined by ignorance of the world. The people who aided and abetted Trump are stupid. I've lived in several red states. There are a lot of friends who I had to really get rid of. Credulous <laughs> boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think that, <laughs> that, that, that Donald Trump's a smart one and they're y'all 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 elitist or them. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking down the statues and crime is rising crime is as they rising. defund police. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. You voted for Trump. You voted for the person who the Klan supported. You voted for the person who Nazis support. You elite us with your geography and your maps and your spelling, <laughs> even though my path and your reading. <laughs> if you're not going to get vaccinated, you don't want to social distance, you don't want to wear a mask, then maybe you don't want to go to the hospital. When you get sick, we have to stop right, demonizing that's enough of him. people. You get it. You get it. Oh, God. I'm just I sick forgot of, like, it's all about Megan. So I had forgotten about the handoff between like Lemon and Cuomo <laughs> and like those like two minutes of awfulness. Forgotten or blocked out? I maybe. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, maybe blocked out. Wow. The, just the yeah. falsity. But I'm I'm a person, you know, I just believe in having relationships with people and talking things out. And that can really change things. Bullshit. Bullshit. You heard him say right there he had to get rid of his friends in the red states because they're so backwards. And we interspliced a few clips in there, Stu, but you heard it. You know, like those Republicans, you know, like thinking that, oh, those Democrats are those elites with their with their maps and their geography. And he was hysterical. Who does he think he's kidding, right? That's what happens. 
Ellie Mistel, I'm sure that actress Jennifer Lawrence and Don Lemon, when they get in their leftist circles, just pat themselves on the back for how tolerant they are and what bigots the people on the right are. That's the only reason they had to end every relationship with a red state person, because they're so bad, but we're still totally willing to have helpful, fruitful conversations. I love that. I love that spin. They're always happy to have fruitful conversations, as long as the fruit at the end of that conversation is what their policy desire is. As long as you, they will always come halfway from their point to uh, the socialist point for a, a nice little, uh, nice little uh, convergence of opinions. Uh, yeah, it's funny. D.L. Hughley was actually on uh, on the show when I worked at CNN with Glenn Beck back in the day, very long time ago. People don't remember this all that well, uh, but we were on headline news, and he came on the uh, the show, and and. I would say sort of outlined what he was talking about. The nice I oh, I would always talk to people across the aisle. He maybe he was that guy. Maybe something changed between you know 2007 and 2016. Maybe Glenn Beck was the one that screwed him up. I I I blame him. Well, maybe for most it was things. me. So maybe the maybe, maybe it was you. Who knows? Maybe you just set him on this path, Megan. I don't know. But I mean, it's so yeah. false. And it's like I come back to this over and over again. If you can't keep your friends because they disagree with you on politics then you're weird. You're you're bad at being a friend, right? Like if- but Look, let's be honest. You, it's the leftists who break up with the righties. I mean, do you, totally. I can't think of one conservative who's dumped a leftist friend. That just, I in my experience, that just doesn't happen. It goes the other way around. Yes, yes. It's only when you're completely antagonized. I, I've had a couple of friends who have been like, hey, like, I don't want to, let's just, hey, we don't agree on politics, conservatives and saying, we don't agree, agree on politics. I love you, but like, we just don't agree on this stuff. Let's just- flesh it out of our lives. Let's just not talk about that. Let's talk about the things we, we like agreeing with. And and over and over again, it's the liberals who say, no, we must talk about this. It's too important. And mm -hmm. basically what they're saying is I'm too important. What I think mm -hmm. about the world is so yes. important that our friendship is lower on the food chain than what, I, what my bumper stickers say on the back of my Prius. And if that's so you, good. you're bad. One other thought, listen to him whining about still Elon Musk and what led to his termination. He's in tears here. Everything that they think about us, you were different. You didn't get angry. You weren't a victim. You didn't blame. You just did. Hmm. And even in this last thing, so I, I can't, I can't tell you how proud it makes me to see people like you in a very public way who handle uh, animos, uh, who handle adversity, and yeah. and and really, I think things that would shatter a lot of people to watch oh you do Lord. that it made me very proud. I think he's a white supremacist. I think he supports the notions of the white nationalism. And I think having a black yeah. man asking them questions was something he wasn't going to take. White supremacists, people are going to take, you know, they're, they're not going to take, they're not going to take that lightly. They're going to go, hey, man, you, you're saying okay. that DL, okay. you're saying that Elon Musk is a white supremacist. That's harsh. I'm saying, I'm saying, yes, I'm saying, yes, I'm saying, if it walks like a duck, it talks like a duck. Great. That's, I think those are fake tears, actually, now that I see it. He, he gra there, I didn't see a tear. He grabbed a tissue and dabbed at his eyes because we have to feel sorry for Don because while Elon still lets him platform on X, he doesn't want to pay him the $5 million a, a year anymore because he, he got to know Don. That's why. That was also that, that was also ridiculous. It's also allergy season, so I have a little issue too. But, um, <laughs> no, I, I mean, it, it it's also crazy. I mean, it's it it it's it, you know, I, I'm sure Hughley believes this, but when you go around calling everybody a white supremacist, what clearly happens is that the word has no meaning. And I mean, you know, you were talking about, you mentioned somebody earlier in the show, Megan, who was legitimately a white supremacist, a Nazi, like all of these things that we all used to agree, like, yes, of course, this can't be platformed. If you pretend that that's the same as Elon Musk, you're really helping out the Nazis. You're really doing them an enormous favor. That's exactly right. And yet they do it all the time. Right, Stu? It's like, Dave's right. It goes in one ear and out the other now. And then you have to really pay attention to see, wait, who's genuinely bad? Because we've all been lumped into this crew now. Yeah, it doesn't help. It doesn't help people who are actual victims of racism. And, you know, I, I don't know. Don Lennon losing his $5 million a year is not something I'm going to cry about. I, I, it's white supremacy. Said, oh, I want to tell you about Gen 90. 
the latest breakthrough in skincare from our friends over at GenuCell. Those bags under your eyes from lack of sleep, being overworked, stress, and even those seasonal allergies that come with spring weather, Gen 90 can help. It also helps around the eyes, the forehead, crow's feet, laugh lines, even the chin, and it starts working in seconds. Gen 90 technology is luxurious. It's silky smooth. Now you can get GenuCell's classic under eye bags and puffiness serum with every Gen 90 order and also get their luxurious GenuCell XV collagen builder moisturizer with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in a pure natural base for stunning results day after day. Go to GenuCell.com slash, well, just genu GenuCell.com right now for incredible packages over 50% off during GenuCell's spring sale. Results are guaranteed or your money back, plus get an extra 10% off automatically applied to checkout. GenuCell.com slash MK60, check it out. Order right now and get a free limited edition spa box and bonus gifts and free shipping. That's GenuCell.com slash MK60, G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.